New South Wales maintains the largest metropolitan bus fleet in Australia. Passengers take more than 200 million trips on buses in New South Wales each year. Being safe on and around buses is important for bus passengers and all road users. Buses are large, heavy vehicles and can't stop quickly. Due to their size, if a bus crashes, they are more likely to cause serious injury or death. Everyone who uses New South Wales roads to drive, ride or walk has a responsibility to follow the road rules and share the road with others. Your actions can make a big difference and improve safety for all of us. When driving near buses, don't pull into the lane in front of them too closely as this can reduce their stopping distance and prevent them from stopping in time to avoid a collision. Keep a safe distance behind the bus or move safely into another lane. Remember, your actions can affect a busload of people. If a bus is pulling out of a bus stop, don't speed up and try to overtake the bus. The size of the bus means it may be difficult for you to see passengers who have left the bus and are preparing to cross the road. The law says that when a bus is leaving a bus stop, has its indicator on and displays a give way sign, motorists must give way to the bus. Some buses have a warning system that includes a 40 km per hour sign and flashing lights to warn road users they are picking up or setting down school children. By law you must not drive at more than 40 km per hour past a bus travelling in the same direction if its lights are flashing. Instead, slow down to 40 km per hour and look out for children crossing. When buses are dropping off or picking up school children, their headlights will also flash. Be careful when approaching a bus with flashing headlights as there may be children crossing or about to cross the road. If you drive too closely behind another vehicle, you may not be able to stop in time to avoid a crash. As a general rule, when following a vehicle, all motorists should travel three seconds behind the vehicle in front to allow enough time to avoid a crash. An easy way to estimate this is to count how long it takes to pass the same object as the vehicle in front of you. This should take three seconds. If you are planning to catch a bus, don't rush to cross the road at the last minute and place yourself at risk. When a traffic light flashes a red pedestrian light, you should finish crossing, but you should not begin to cross. In most circumstances, if you are walking within 20 metres of a pedestrian crossing, you must use the crossing. Using mobile phones or other devices while you're crossing the road can be distracting. If you know you're going to catch a bus, plan ahead by checking a bus timetable or real-time app before you leave. When crossing the road at traffic lights, make sure that vehicles have stopped before you start to cross on the green pedestrian light. Remember to wait until all vehicles have stopped before you start to cross. When you get off a bus, don't step out from behind the bus, as oncoming traffic may not be able to see you. Never assume that an approaching driver can see you or stop for you in time to avoid a collision, as their vision may be affected by the sun, poor light and parked cars. And when you get off a bus, don't cross in front of the bus, as the driver may not see you or be able to stop in time to avoid a collision. Wait until the bus has driven off and there is a clear side of road from both directions of traffic before you start to cross the road. Bus interchanges can be busy and complex road environments where a range of transport options converge, such as buses, trains and taxis. There is also a high level of pedestrian activity and interaction between vehicles and pedestrians. When you get off a bus at a bus interchange, do not start to cross the road if the traffic light flashes a red pedestrian light. Avoid running in front of buses waiting to depart. When walking in traffic, do not let yourself be distracted by using mobile phones or other devices. If you're waiting for a bus at a bus stop or interchange, stand at a safe distance from the curb. When crossing the road at traffic lights, make sure that vehicles have stopped before you start to cross on the green pedestrian light. In most circumstances, if you are walking within 20 metres of a pedestrian crossing, you must use the crossing. Bicycle riders should be aware that buses have blind spots due to their size and shape. In certain road situations, bus drivers may not always be able to see them. For this reason, bicycle riders should avoid riding beside a bus in traffic. When turning, buses can take up more than one lane. By law, bicycle riders and motorists must give way to a bus that is turning left. So if a bus is turning left, stay behind the bus and wait for it to turn before safely continuing your journey. 
Remember, bicycle riders may travel in a bus lane, transit lane or truck lane, but are not permitted to use a bus only lane. When riding in traffic with buses and other heavy vehicles, stay alert and ride conspicuously. If you are an older passenger, a person with a disability or a pregnant, it is safer to try to sit closer to the front of the bus or in a courtesy seat. This way you can avoid having to make your way to the front of the bus while the bus is moving. Avoid pressing the button to stop the bus at the last minute. This can make it hard for the driver to stop safely in time. Wait until the bus has stopped before you get out of your seat and make sure you hold on as you walk down the bus. Buses carry many people with different needs. To make your bus trip safe for you, the driver and fellow passengers, it helps to be alert and considerate of other passengers. By looking out for each other on and around buses, we can all help make the road safer for everyone.